Why are your layers uneven? That is what I'm talking about in today's video. And the reason is because I get DM after email after DM after email from viewers saying, Steven, I've been to 86 hairdressers and no one can get my hair right. And no one can cut layers like you and my hair's a mess. So in this video, what I want to try to do is explain to you, you know, why your layers could be uneven. And, you know, if you're a hairstylist or barber or, or professional watching this, maybe you can find this valuable as well. But there's also, you know, you have to take in, into consideration sometimes as, and I've experienced this as a client, you may have these expectations and you may actually be driving the stylist crazy. <laughs> I mean, I've had a handful of clients in my career who've literally come in and sat down and started telling me the angles at how they want their hair cut. I, you know, you should hold this up at 50 degrees or this should be 90 degrees. And wait, what if you cut it more like square and triangular? And what do you, I'm like, oh my God. And it just drove me crazy. So just take that into consideration. You could be driving your stylist crazy, <laughs> but for the most part, you know, I've seen way too many butcher jobs. That's what I call them, butcher jobs, when, you know, somebody has really, really nice hair and it's just so improperly layered and unbalanced and choppy. And if you are someone who's experiencing this, please let me know in the comments below. Share, share your story. What happened? You know, did you tell them you wanted one thing and they did something else? Did you show a photo and they completely botched it a different way? Like what happened? Okay. Because, you know, there's also, there's two sides of every story. All right. Now, if you show someone a photo and you say, I want to have this haircut and you don't have the right hair for it, meaning the hair texture, like the person in the photo has very, very straight hair and it lays perfectly. Meanwhile, you've got like really wiry, frizzy, curly hair that just, it's not gonna look like that, all right? So you really have to be realistic too with what you want and your expectations. But layering is a technique, okay? Layering is a technique that's designed to remove weight. So why would you get your hair layered? Well, to have more movement, to have more volume, you know, to, to have your hair have more life because if it's just say all one length and your hair is very, very straight, it's going to look very flat and there's not a whole lot going on. So layers really add incredible shape and style to your hair. Now layering comes in many shapes and sizes because there's a whole variety of ways you can layer hair. All right. And layering has to be done in a way where you're, you're maintaining the integrity of the haircut. Now, when I say the integrity of the haircut, most of the time I'm talking about the foundation of the haircut. So I'm just going to get a little bit closer here. The foundation of the haircut, which is like the base. Okay. The bottom, the hair length, that is the foundation. And it's like a house. If you've got a house with a weak foundation, the house will eventually collapse. It's the same thing with layers and hair cutting. If you've got a very, very weak base, okay. Uh, or a strong base, that can actually destroy the bottom and the, and the foundation of the haircut. Meaning if you cut really bad layers, it can really, really mess this all up. So the key is to having a really good, strong foundation. And then whatever happens from the top all the way in between, right? All these sections of hair, whatever's going on in between, that is what layering is. And layering needs to be done with a purpose because you need to really, make sure that the layers are in the right area. All right. They're in the right spot. You don't want to have layers way too short up here and they don't need to be that short unless that's the style you're going for or really, really short layers and the hair is super, super long and it's just very unbalanced. Or you've got layers that are way too long for a haircut that needs shorter layers. Okay. So there's all these things where they have to really match up well together. And it's really up to your stylist or beauty professional to make sure that they are doing what they need to do. Okay. They need to be doing the right job or else it's going to be a disaster. And then you're going to start emailing me saying, Steven, please help me. And there's nothing I can do. All right. So let's talk about really what layers should look like and how to go about like understanding it and seeing it. So, you know, obviously the person cutting your hair, 
you know, they're the one in charge. But I can tell you this, when I've seen stylists put themselves in a position with their body and they start cutting hair a certain way, I can almost guarantee that the layers are not really being cut the right way. For example, many times, all right, when someone's cutting hair, say on this side, so it's all about body position, okay? It's all about body position. So here, I'm standing up straight, right? I have control with my elbow like this, my arm, and literally I'm just cutting like that. My, I'm not putting my back in an awkward position. A lot of times when I see people try to go from one side to the other, they'll then take the hair like this, okay? Yeah, fine, you wanna go right here, that's one thing. But then, if you've got longer layers, right, sometimes you, they start coming way over the top this way, and that's just, not only is it hurting your back, but it's also cu cutting the hair in a completely different way than if you were cutting it this side. So what you need to do, or the stylist needs to do, is just simply turn the chair around so that that other side now is facing you and you're in the same spot. So I can literally cut hair in the same spot and not move whatsoever. And that is really the way you're gonna get a good balance as far as being consistent, okay? Consistency is really, really important. Another thing that I see a lot of times with layering is when a stylist will comb the hair up like this, right? Like here, here they are, and they drop the hair, they drop the whole arm down. All right, let me get a, give you guys a better angle here. Drop the whole arm like this. So the first section, here we go and then bam, the arm goes down. And that leads to inconsistencies also. Here's a different angle of that in through here. Okay, again, bringing the arm up like this. Okay, we're good to go. And then now I'm dropping it like that, all right? We're not dropping it like it's hot because it's not hot, all right? So what could happen is all sorts of issues. Consistency is really, really important. So if you see your stylist jumping around, doing handstands and jumping jacks while you're cutting your hair, something could be wrong, okay? So now, let's talk about what you should be seeing, all right? So again, if you're seeing really, really good posture, that's a good thing. If you're seeing the hair being pulled up, right, and it looks like everything is balanced, like so, right? Their arms, their shoulders are even. They're taking the hair section by section, all right? Everything is being cut very consistently, then that's a good sign. Now, why you're getting bad layers is simply because of what I just mentioned, a lot of that going on, but also the way the hair is being cut. So now I, when the hair gets very, very choppy, it's because the hair is not being layered in the right areas and it's not being blended together. Okay, for example, so here is a layer, right? I'm cutting that piece right there and let's hold on to that piece. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold this out this way, and now I'm going to cut this the wrong way, all right? Now I just made a nice chomp into that, and then I'm gonna hold on to this section like this, and then, then let's say I'm now going in this way. Now this whole section, what I just did here, is I completely just, I hate to say it, but I kind of like butchered the entire section. And what happens is, I'm gonna show you guys this whole piece right here this, that I'm holding, and I wanna show you what it looks like from the top, because I didn't have it let go of it. So now, what's happening? Okay, you're seeing this short, this whole area right here, okay, this whole area right here is long, and then it's short again, and then long again. And what that does, and I'm gonna comb this down, look what happened here. You can see this. I just literally created a like awful butcher. That's what I call a butchered layer right in through here. So it's really short, then long, and then you can see that right there. It's, it's an absolute crime scene, all right? So that is why the layers aren't being, aren't laying right and why they're uneven. So I know I've called myself uneven Steven a number of times, but today we have to be even, all right? We have to be even Steven. So let's try to, what would we do to fix that? So you've got this big short chunk laying over all this length and through here. 
So what I need to do, and if you, you know, go back to your stylus, this whole thing needs to be blended. So I'm gonna hold on to that section, I'm gonna comb the hair straight out, and I'm gonna follow, and I'm gonna see where is that troubled area. And there it is, that corner, right? That weight right there is the one thing that's really destroying that whole shape. So now I'm pulling the hair out like so, and I'm cutting it in a way that it needs to be blended to get rid of that like awful shelf and that awful like butchered layered area, okay? This is really the only way to go about doing it. And I call it like reconstructive surgery. So now, let's go a little bit closer into here. That whole area that was a big chomp now is blended in, okay? And, and that's, I hate to say it, but that's what causes uh, uneven layers is when the hair is not layered properly. And it all starts from that first section and then continues all the way down. So that could be the number one reason simply because it's not being cut right. And if you are seeing the stylist, right, or even barber, it doesn't matter, whatever, whoever's cutting your hair, if you're seeing them doing all these things and, and they're not executing the hair cut properly or from a technical standpoint, then uh, that's what's gonna cause all these issues, all right? So now I just blended all this in and it's now seamless, okay? I've gotten rid of that big chunk and now it all blends in with the rest. I didn't touch any of this stuff down here, obviously, but <clears throat> so that's what happens. That's what causes uneven layers. How do you get them fixed? Well, you know, if you have a bad experience, you have to let the salon manager know, the owner of the, you know, the, the establishment, Somebody needs to know that whoever is working there did a horrible botch job on your hair. It needs to be known. And it's not just like, you know, it goes further than just leaving like a review someplace, but like the, they themselves need to know, the management needs to know, the owner needs to know to prevent this from happening time and time again. Okay. Now you see those nice, beautiful layers right there. That's, that's created simply by just being thorough and balanced, all right? Now, another thing with layering. When you hold the hair straight up like this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see immediately, right? You're gonna see pretty much immediately if the hair is even or uneven. And that's simply by holding it straight up and checking for the balance. That you can do yourself at home. So if you're combing your hair up this way, and look, here's a perfect example because I didn't really, you know, this mannequin was just laying around and I've done a bunch of haircuts on it. You can see right here, this is really short and then this part right here is a lot longer. So what do you do? You go to the longest point of where it's the last section and then you cut that longer area off because, uh, you know, unfortunately that hair needs to be cut off. And then you can see the guide from the last section but everything when you pull out needs to be rounded or square, or triangular, whatever it is, it all needs to be even, all right? It needs to follow a nice connection and blend. That's what's also really, really important. Another thing that I see a lot of stylists do is they'll take a section, right, when they're cutting the back, they'll bring the section straight up like this, okay? They'll cut this straight up and then they'll, you know, cut it straight across and then next thing you know, you've got this like awful shelf in the hair right in the back here. This awful shelf right here and they're like, oh, what do you do? Well, it's because the hair wasn't really blended properly, wasn't layered properly. So that's when now you can see that longer hair underneath it that needs to be cut. Layering is a process. It's, it takes a lot of work and skill. But at the same time, you know, if not done right, you really, really, really can have a really bad haircut and it could destroy your beautiful hair, right? You could have gorgeous hair and you get a really bad haircut and then you're like miserable and oh my gosh, you feel awful. So it's really important to make sure that you do some research, right? On, on the, the people you choose when getting your haircut, look at their Instagram page, look at their, the shop's website, right? Do they have a website? Do, do they have profiles? Do they have pictures of their work? If they don't, then obviously you have to be careful and you have to wonder, like, 
how do I know this person is going to be good or not? Do a consultation. Ask to see. Especially if you're going in and, and paying for a service, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, can I see some you know, pictures of your work? If they get offended, then fine. Say, you know what? We're not a good fit. I'm not the right client for you. <laughs> and then just leave, you know? Uh, so layering, again, can be done very, very beautifully. Keep it very, very simple, right? Make sure that you have the right layers for the haircut that you need because you don't want to choose something that's really not going to be a good look for you. And you, you could look at how beautiful that is right there, how this all just goes back and flows very, very nicely, all because I simply just cut it and kept it very simple. All right, look at those beautiful layers right there. So, you know, I know some of you are watching this going, oh my God, I want that, I want that. <laughs> well, you can have it, uh, maybe not by me at some point, but uh, you, you, if you find the right stylist to cut your hair and lay your hair properly, you'll be in good shape. Let me know, again, in the comments below if you've experienced anything like this. Let me know if your stylist is awesome. Like, I'd love to, I'd love to just communicate with you. And if you are curious, uh, I do have a full range of hair products and hair tools like blow dryers, brushes, products that you can get at shop.theslonga.com. And if you use code YouTube20, it's an exclusive discount code here on YouTube, YouTube20 at shop.theslonga.com. You get 20% off and it's free shipping on orders with a value of over $50. And yes, it's a great deal. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.